Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we have an awesome New Mutants focused episode. We are looking at New Mutants 35, 36, and 38 randomly enough. Look at this massive display of art going on here. Bill Sienkiewicz, Barry Winsor Smith, Art Adams. This is Bill Sienkiewicz's artistic return to the title um, uh, as an inker. The art is incredible. It's penciled by Mary Wilshire. These iconic covers, a fun time in the history of New Mutants. Cannot wait to share it with you. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please hit that like button and let's get right into this baby. All right, look at this. I just noticed this after all these years, that color mistake here, this should be red right there. Color typos like that chap my ass like nobody's business. Like who was asleep at the wheel? It's so glaring to me now. How do I, how did I never notice it before? Or maybe I did and I'm just now. Like, is this a spine issue condition here? It's in pretty good shape though, right? I mean, whatever. Comic books were meant to be read and I read the hell out of my comics, especially at this period. Um, New Mutants, 65 cents. Can you believe it? Beautiful Bill Sienkiewicz corner art um, in the cover. I love this logo. I want to say it was... Um, uh, designed by Kevin Nolan, um, who is like an amazing letterer and logo designer, if you guys didn't know, in addition to being like an amazing artist. Um, he did the Hellboy logo. I feel like he did this one in Wolverine. I could be wrong. A quick Google search would tell me, but I don't give a crap. Anyway, I mean, I do, because like, it's an amazing, and um, I love Kevin Nolan's, Nolan's art. Um, I have covered it elsewhere on my channel. If you're interested, go find it. So, like I said, okay, so Bill Sienkiewicz redefined the New Mutants with Chris Claremont, the Demon Versaga, Legion, and the big Karma, um, Shadow King epic. Um, so then he, Steve Lee Aloha did a couple fill-in issues, and then, um, Mary Wilshire took over the pencils, and Bill Sienkiewicz came back as the anchor, and... Bill Sienkiewicz's inks are always sublime, so I'm always down for that. And this was fun. Like, Mary Wilshire had this uh, really cool, um, very, like, uh, comic book friendly style, like, very clear storytelling. She did this Starfire miniseries. Um, I can't think off the top of my head, but, I mean, she was around in other ways. Um, I know she did an Outsiders uh, windfall story that I loved um, when the Outsiders were doing backup stories. But anyway, this is clearly, it's so funny how um, how uh, invested I feel like in all these uh, uh, nuances of publishing and stuff, but this is like the uh, God flexographic time with like the Mando paper. And, um, you know, I kind of didn't hate it at the time and I kind of don't hate it now, even though a lot of it was like, kind of sketchy and kind of like over bright and got kind of weird in some places but I kind of love seeing the colored dots so we have Chris Claremont writer um I mean his new mutants is indisputable just easily as good as his uncanny x-men in my mind I highly revere it I love the new mutants totally one of my favorites Mary Wilshire and Bill Sienkiewicz artists you know they list them right like that I'm not sure how tight Mary Wilshire's pencils were here um, they do look pretty fairly tight, but you know, whenever you have Bill Sienkiewicz inking, you're bringing him on for a reason. You're expecting like this sort of like Bill Sienkiewicz finish. And, um, I think it's a great combination here. I do enjoy it. Tom and Lois letterers. So that's Tom Orzakowski and his wife, Lois Buhalis. Um, Petra Skytee's colors. And the Santee editor, an amazing writer. One of my favorite writers, Jim Shooter, editor in chief. Look at this lineup. I love it. Warlock looking kind of, kind of like human. He's got a turtleneck on and like a sort of pompadour hairdo. I love that. That is so cool. Um, I don't know. They look great. The, my favorite, one of my favorite teams, Eliana. Magneto as headmaster. That was kind of an interesting thing, right? I mean, let's see. Magneto's in charge. The school will never be the same. I love proclamations like that on comic book covers. Like so dramatic. Giving you the gravity of the situation. This is beautiful art. See, this is what I'm talking about, the, how horrifying the flexography, though, is look look at these, like, spots. Um, I mean, you know, when Bill Sienkiewicz is involved, you almost want to think it was intentional, but not at this point, kids, okay? I love his ring. Like, does he have Lex Luthor's kryptonite ring? That would be 
an epic sort of like, uh, I don't know, MacGuffin, like not really MacGuffin, but that, how cool would that be? Like, you know, the, the reality rips open. I love that I'm totally geeking out here with you guys, but, and then, you know, Superman comes in and he phases Magneto and Magneto's like, bitch, I have the kryptonite ring. I mean, that would be kind of epic. Marvel, DC, if there was ever a reason to get together, mend the fences and do another crossover, that was it. What is happening? Speaking of coloring mistakes, happening, Danny, do you have white gloves on? What's going on here? Love the art, though. This art is truly, truly beautiful. I mean, Bill Sienkiewicz, I love your inks. So amazing. This is very, like, Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, Mary Wilshire just draws, like, really cute characters. But once again, like, great storytelling. I love this. Come on, oh, my God. Magma, what happened? Like, your rosacea... <laughs> is horrifying like I realized that you know turning into molten lava, lava probably can't be great for the skin but that rosacea is out of control and once again the horrifying flexography colors look just awful but look at this beautiful like inking um like light line work going on in here I love that I love this reflection of Shan in the mirror I mean thank god she was able to <laughs> I don't know, you know, when the Shadow King possessed her and she gained, like, what, eight, nine, twelve thousand 12,000 pounds or whatever. <clears throat> she could be, like, on an episode of my, you know, 600-pound life or whatever. That would suck. I mean, you know, it's, like, normally, like, I don't know, being possessed by someone who, like, does that to you, like the psychological ramifications. Have we ever done that? Like, Chris Claremont, there you go. Like, Karma's such a great character. Like, I loved her debut in uh, Marvel Team Up 100 with Frank Miller. That was epic. You should re-team with Frank Miller to do, like, a follow-up mini-series. Like, I love, don't you guys love when I go off on these weird, like, fantasy tangents. I'm like just totally going off on a weird fantasy tangent. That's okay. You can look at the art while I do that. But anyway, so I've got Superman fighting Magneto and now I've got um, Karma dealing with, uh, yeah, revenge. Like revenge on the Shadow King. Did she ever get revenge? Philip, you have to be watching this. I know you're going to be supplying me with the digital upgrade for the beautiful art on this. So amazing. Like, I mean, just like, just the times that Bill Sienkiewicz has inked other artists, like it just so beautiful. Like, I just love this. Harry's iconic for X-Men lore. Fun ad here. This looks like kind of like Ron, if I had to guess, I would say, and um, perhaps there's a way to check, but would you be super impressed if I guessed that this was like Ron Friends inked by uh, Joe Rubenstein? That's totally what it looks like. Totally what I'm going to go with. Love this panel. They this I feel like this was in Marvel Age um, in black and white. Maybe inked um, a preview of like the art coming up. And I have to say, I love it. Like, it's so great. Great combination, Bill Sienkiewicz and Mary Wilshire. I mean, look how cool Brightwind looks there. That looks so amazing. I love that so much. Once again, a coloring mistake. Like, why is that pink? I don't know. Colors. Magneto looks pretty cool there. That's great. I just love that. Like, I mean, Bill Sienkiewicz just, like, having so much fun. Look how thick and juicy those clouds are. That is so great. What a, what a pop of silhouette. This so needs to be in better color or something. Is there an omnibus with this? Is there a new printing? I mean, this printing, this coloring is horrifying. But you gotta, you gotta learn to look through the bad coloring and just see the beautiful. I mean, look at those eyes. That is so cool. Humans. That is so iconic. I would love a t-shirt of just that right there. Magneto. It's so funny how interchangeable, like, in the, I guess there are two sides of the same coin. Uh, Xavier and Magneto are, because, like, doesn't that give you Xavier vibes right there? <clears throat> 
I mean, Xavier was kind of a dick anyway. That's like, that should be the new upgrade of uh, Professor Xavier is a jerk. Professor Xavier is a dick. <laughs> okay, sadly, I don't know where it is, but oh no, we're gonna go to issue 36 next. We're gonna skip 37. I know you probably already pieced out by now 10 minutes into this, but Secret Wars 2 crossover continues in this issue. That isn't as exciting for a lot of people as it is for me. I low-key love Secret Wars, Secret Wars 2. <laughs> I didn't think it was ridiculous at all, even though it's kind of looked at like that, but whatever. Look at this gorgeous Barry Windsor Smith cover. Like, how iconic. I feel like Barry Windsor Smith was kind of known for just, like, doing whatever the hell he wanted and being like, Marvel, buy this. And, um... I don't know if that's how it rolled on his covers. Although he did a few New Mutants covers, but very, very artistic and very beautiful. And I love it. I love it. You gotta love a mainstream comic book with a pentacle on the cover. The Star comics. Oh my God, I love the stars. Meet Misty, totally favorite. Started my lifelong love of Trina Robbins art, the Care Bears and the Thundercats. That makes me happy to see all that. What a gorgeous splash page. This is so cool. Chris Claremont, Mary Wilshire and Bill Sienkiewicz, Michael Higgins, colorist, Tom Orzakowski, letterer, Anna Senti and Jim Shooter. So cool. I love that. That looks so amazing. Kirby dots just floating. I just like the use of like, uh, I mean, and then the way the, the lettering is done. I mean, that is so gorgeous. That really pops design wise. Um, Little bit of a weird tangent there on his ankle. I would have probably tried, or on his knee, they shouldn't be connected. I would have tried to avoid that. Other than that, you can't really mess with perfection. That is so cool. That would be a great poster too. The art here is really good. I mean, the coloring is horrifying as far as the printing goes. Um, I mean, look at the red, like the splotches on the face randomly. Like, it's so weird. Um, great. It's interesting because, you know, this is like such a high profile book for Mary Wilshire. And on one hand, I'm wondering artistically, like there's got to be a couple of things going on. On one hand, like to be inked by living legend Bill Sienkiewicz would be totally amazing. However, uh, as much as her art comes through, I think when Bill Sienkiewicz inks, it's always going to dominate the art and be sort of more about his inking. But I just love this art though. Like it is so good. Like I love this use of these vertical panels for the storytelling. And she just like captures a lot of the emotion and kind of teen angst that you would want in a New Mutants comic book. Great panels like this. I just love the way that lines up. Mary Wilshire, I need to find more of your art. I feel like just New Mutants. Great panel there. That is so cool. And I'm sorry, Jerry Carl and all. I love the Beyonder. I love. I mean, it's kind of a great classic story in a way. Killer panel of Ilyana there, right? Easily one of my favorite New Mutants. Although it's, I say easily, but it's hard to pick a favorite. Very cool, kind of Kirby dots, a little bit action happening. I love throwing in the zip here. Good on you, Sinkovich, for that. Galtar and the Golden Lance. I feel like I skipped over Challenge of the GoBots. That's probably why. I wasn't m much of a GoBots person, okay? I'll say that. Fun sip there. This art is incredible. I'm just loving this. I love... That's what I love about the X-Men and the New Mutants. It's like, you can just go anywhere. Like, from the arcane to the outer space to the, you know, um, sewers of New York with the Morlocks. I mean, it's truly... Face it, true believers. They did have it all. Oh my God, this is so much fun. What a great panel here. There's so much, I love that we can see under, like this cutaway view of underwater and above. That is gorgeous. The art in here is like so underrated, you guys. I don't know why, like, I mean, I don't know. You know, we, we just kind of took stuff like this for granted back in the day a little bit I feel I don't know like I, I know I love this art at the time and I feel like I way love it more now like it is so good it is so good I can't wait till the Brett Blevins come up I know you don't like Brett Blevins uh lollipop heads but Philip 
<clears throat> but, you know, I'm going to win you over. Or at least gag you with my um, overappreciation of it. The Misfits, which would be renamed because there was a TV show called The Misfits, I think. Misfits of Science or something like that. Great panel there. I love that. Iconic X-Mansion. <laughs> the great. That is so Sienkiewiczian right there. That is so cool. I love that. What a great panel to end on. And now, sadly, as I said before, we are skipping over number 37 because I don't know if I have it or not. And I didn't want to waste the opportunity to show you this gorgeous, one of my favorite Art Adams covers ever. This is pretty much perfection right here. The detail is beautiful. The storytelling is amazing. I love that nobody's like really looking at the camera and they're all looking down and somber. I mean, coming out of their graves or going in. Are they coming out, going in? Anyway, Art Adams nailed this so hard and like, it is so good. The detail is stunning and I just love it. One of my favorite covers. And then you, oh, actually this is way exciting too because we get Chris Claremont, guest artist Rick Leonardi, one of my favorite artists ever, speaking of underrated. And then we get Bill Sienkiewicz inking it. So I'm so excited. Ken Brusenak, letterer, that's like really cool. Usually works with um, Howard Chaikin and um, worked with uh, Jason Pearson on Body Bags and um, colorist Glennis Oliver, um, famous ex-colorist and the Senti editor and Jim Shooter editor-in-chief. This is so cool. I love the splash page. This is awesome. I would love to see this at large full size. We're still suffering through the flexor graphic coloring, like leaving little bloops and horrifying marks all over the art. This cover is a little ripped and horrified, but I mean, it's this cover. So I must've read this probably a million and 10 times. So it's amazing. It hasn't even deteriorated beyond this point. This makes me very happy to see. I feel like, because um, Rick Leonardi's layouts and um, draftsmanship is so strong, it shines through, even when he's working with someone like uh, Bill Sienkiewicz, who is a pretty dominant inker. But I'm just loving panels like this. Rain looks so cute. I love that. Mm, I could ask for a bit of a, a tighter warlock there. I don't know. Um, the Hellions, of course. I love the Hellions. Um, very fun. The X Mansion. So iconic. I remember drawing that a million times for all my millions of rejected Marvel pitches. ElfQuest. Got some ElfQuest coming up for you guys soon. More ElfQuest, I should say. I love that cover. Gru. My brother was so into Gru and I never quite got into it. I know I missed the boat, guys. Sorry. Um, dare I say... No, I'm not going to say it because I do love this art. I live for panels like that. That is so cool. I can, I mean, it was always fun, like, when the X-Men were just in the mansion, you know, hanging out in the kitchen or something. That's so cool. Very dramatic. And Emma just sitting there very casually smoking pre-whatever year. Smoking was banned from Marvel Comics. I always have to point that out. I mean... I'm very anti-smoking. Cigarettes. The danger room. It looks so funny. Like, I don't... <laughs> you know, um, Rick Leonardi has, like, such graceful characters. I think that's why he was such a great artist on Cloak and Dagger. You know, Dancer or Dagger just, like, danced across the page so beautifully and artistically like no one else could do. That's why I love Rick Leonardi's, like, Spider-Man. And, um... But Magneto is giving me like Bob Fosse vibes here. I feel like they're choreographing a number. Are you? Are you guys? Stevie Hunter looking amazing. I love Stevie Hunter. I was taking the brunt of Kitty's anger. Does Kitty give it to her here? Kitty always giving it to the Stevie Hunter. Oh my gosh, so cool. I love this. What a great page, Bright Wind. What a beautiful frog, Thor. How amazing is that? What a great, see, this is why I need better printing. Like this panel has to be a hundred times better than it looks right here because it is gorgeous. And you know, the original art on this is just gotta be like breathtaking. Oh, I love that. A girl and her horse. 
and not in an equus kind of way. G.I. Joe, 64 page yearbook. Oh, I covered that. I covered that. It's in my channel archives. I love the coloring on that panel. I mean, it's obviously like so garish and bright, but that it's my coloring style. And it's evocative of like Marvel in the 70s. Don't you know? Warlock looking good. Digging those panels. I always just love like the fat outlines and just like, I don't know, the craziness St. Cabbage brings. But the pure artistry as well. I mean, look at that. A winter in Wonderland. We're almost done, guys. And that's it. So that's what happened when Bill Sienkiewicz came back to the New Mutants after his historic run. If I find 37, I'll cover it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Look at those great covers. Wilshire and Sienkiewicz, Windsor Smith, Art Adams. You know them, you love them, classics. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and I'll bring you more soon.